Dan here from Vagabond Buddha. And we are in Battambang, Cambodia. And we're on a, a tour. It's 25 bucks. We're driving all over the countryside. Uh, we're seeing temples and rice wine and rice caper and uh, killing fields. Uh, Bat, bat caves. Anyway, the tour's all day long, 25 bucks. Follow us along, and if it looks fun, click the link below this. We'll have a link there where you can take the tour too if you like. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. We've already taken you to all the sites to see in Battenbang City. Now we're gonna take you out into the countryside and show you everything interesting happening. Uh, there's a Google map of this walking tour, or this tuk-tuk uh, uh, tour, and uh, that's available on the webpage. And so is uh, the name of our tour guide um, and phone number, which is an incredible deal. The all-day tour was $25, and that's for the Took took in both of us, not per person, but that's the total price. And he's a great guy, you should really take advantage of it. Hmm. Very nice. So when uh, you finish this side, so only the bottom you can uh, break it and just as a spoon. Oh. Like it. <laughs> Very nice. And uh, sometimes with uh, the same ingredient, they have a sticky rice, black bean, salt, sugar, but they don't put in the bamboo. They pack with a banana leaf. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yes, and then steam it. Mm. It's very nice as well. So this Buddhist temple was built in 1709. And um, so it's very old. temple built behind it which uh, was finished in 2013 so our our guy was telling us that they the Vietnamese finally came to help the Cambodian people and defeated the Khmer Rouge pushed them into the jungle um, but they still flared up from time to time for about another 13 years until they were completely defeated. Um, he remembers as a boy when they hear bomb, bombs going off or planes flying overhead. They had a hole in the ground in the middle of his house. That they would, the family would get in to avoid shrapnel in case a bomb hit near their house. So this temple is called Sun Lao Kong. I'm probably butchering it, but I at least have to try. It's very nice. I don't know if you can see the lotus flowers in the water with the symbol for Buddha, those pink flowers. Beautiful setting for these terrified souls. It's this beautiful pond and a temple next to it. And there they are, 10,000 people that were tortured and murdered. You go to this little village where they, um, this has a fish market, and they dry the fish in the sun for three days with just salt. Uh, and some of it, they color, they also make fish salt here. Fish sauce, sorry. You'll see this fish, uh, that dried fish like that in all the markets in Cambodia. And over here they make the sauce apparently. Man, it smells. Some days I'm very happy to be vegetarian.
about ready to see how they make rice wine. Now they cook the rice for us to welcome us to eat. <laughs> that is the best one. That one? Oh. There's a rice biscuit. Biscuit. So you call it rice wine? We call rice alcohol. It's not wine anymore. So they're making rice, rice wine and alcohol, rice alcohol here. Good. How do they ferment it? Does it ferment in the barrels or? Yeah, because uh, that's to have our, uh, the, rice, uh, the rice wine yeah. Yeah. Oh. Inside, the, inside the water. Okay. If you say they steam it and then the, the heat. Yeah. And then the heat becomes uh, the rice wine. Oh. The, the heat of oil. The rice that they mix with agis yeah. and put in here. Okay. Yeah. So they first put the rice in these and, and ferment it and then they boil yeah, off the. Yeah. Yeah. That's it by spirit. For taller 15 days. Oh. For my dry wine. 15 total? Yeah, process. How long in this part? Fermentation, 4 days. 4 days fermentation? Then, uh, 10 days I made alcohol juice. Uh -huh. 10 okay. days. And then this boils off the alcohol day, into there, yeah? yeah? One day. One day, yeah. yeah. Chung Hoi says she's drank a lot of this stuff. It's popular in Asia. But she's never seen it made before. For cooking? Food. Yeah, for cooking. Yeah. But you don't drink it? Some they drink, some mostly we do for cooking. Cooking? Yeah. So this is Wa Ik Nam. Um, it's a 11th century uh, temple. So it's about 100 years be before Angkor Wat. It was uh, built by King Sirivaman, the first sometime in the 11th century. Christ and um, the many of the people at that time were illiterate um, and so became the custom to tell the story in pictures and this temple follows that tradition 
to sort of remind you of, of scenes, if you will, um, to tell the story. Anyway, very colorful. So we're at the bamboo uh, train station. It's it's like a little miniature train that you take you ride through the countryside. It's five dollars per person. It's about uh, 20 minutes up and 20 minutes back. You're supposed to be able to see rice fields and just nice scenery. So and definitely wear sunblock and a hat. We're on the bamboo train. So we're on Bannon Hill, about 20 kilometers from uh, Batimba, and on top of this hill is um, a contemporary of Angkor Wat, uh, built around the same time, which is uh, 11th century. Um, these were AD. built at a time when it's many believe that um, Cambodia was the most powerful of um, of the Siam or Thailand or Vietnam at that time. Of course, it was called the Khmer um, dynasty or empire. And of course, it, um, it, it slowly lost its prominence in this part of the world and eventually was almost consumed by Thailand and Vietnam, Cambodia that is, until the French came along and uh, offered a um, protection uh, for colonization, if you will. And um, and then after uh, France was defeated and thrown out of Indochina, um, uh, Thailand and Vietnam were not as expansionary anymore. In fact, um, it was Vietnam that helped throw the Khmer Rouge out of Cambodia um, in 1979 so that Cambodia could have a more reasonable government. Um, Anyway, so this is probably the most famous of the temples in the uh, Batimbang area. And there's five of these temples here. And there, there's, as you can see by the, the various colors, it's almost like a puzzle that was partially taken apart and put back together. Yeah. Um, I don't know specifically if this temple was, but a lot of temples around Cambodia were uh, ruined during Khmer Rouge or significantly torn apart. They didn't believe in um, the Khmer Rouge were classical communists, they didn't believe in God. Um, and they even used the temples, uh, some of the temples we saw earlier as prisoners, uh, prison camps until they um, executed the people inside them and the killing fields we saw today they actually used the, uh, a temple built in 1707 as a place to uh, lock up educated people before uh, while they um, were killing them um, so it's been reassembled as you can see you notice there's browns and whites and um, but very fascinating this this 
just that this has been here a thousand years and that it still fits together so nicely. So this was a killing cave here. They would, there's a temple right up there and they would throw people, they would lock them in the temple and keep them there until it's time to throw them in this hole. And they would come down this hole and die when they hit the ground. And it's a real party around here. He said that happens for an hour straight, one hour, the bats will leave the cave like that. So you can imagine how it gets to five or six million pretty quick.
So this is Mr. Lim. We just finished a full day tour with him all over uh, Batambang. All, yeah. Multiple temples, a wine uh, winemaker, rice, uh, rice paper for just all over the place. It was a full day tour. We started at like, is it 8.30 in the morning? And we went until seven o'clock at night. And we really appreciate it. It was really nice. We have four other videos about Batin Bang, Cambodia. Retired cheap in Cambodia, best cheap food, nightlife tour, city walking tour, and best tour outside the city. Click more information below this video for our webpage with all the other Batambang videos embedded therein and 50 other retired cheap reports. It's Dan of Vagabond Awake, and if you're enjoying this video, could you please subscribe, like it, comment, any of those things would help us uh, in the search rankings and improve our business so I can get enough money together to try buy her a new pair of shoes. She has holes in the bottom of her shoes. No, I don't. Please help us.